Look, they spelled Big Snowy wrong. <laughs> Welcome to Big Sandy. What in the world? I'm back to one bag. <laughs> it's gonna suck for a couple days. Never stop moving. That's the theme of this hunt. Today, my father, aka Papa Mark, and Uncle Bud, aka Bud Light, are headed to Montana to chase mule deer. They have tags and I have a camera. We knew we had four days of weather coming, but hunt dates are hunt dates, so we jumped in the truck and got ourselves to Montana. Arriving at our meeting place, we were greeted with a warm, beautiful atmosphere. Getting to know one another, we just sat around and talked about how we got here. Now in every case for us, it's word of mouth. A friend of a friend, somebody knows somebody, and the more we talk, the more we realize how small this little world of hunting really is. This week, we're hunting with the Montana Outfitting Company, and like always, I highly recommend this business. In short, great people, incredible properties, and fantastic food. For me, that's check, check, check. On day one, we made it to our house way up on the edge of the Missouri River Breaks. We settled in, had a beautiful dinner, and we were ready to get it done first thing in the morning. Cholula. <laughs> day one, Dad, Montana. Welcome to Montana, huh? <laughs> Uncle Bud? Hey, welcome to Montana. Welcome to Montana. Andrew's today the day? Got some heat back I there, I suppose. <laughs> cold enough. Yeah, it's cold enough. Now, let me be super real with you for just a minute. So the high for the next three days where we're at here in Montana is eight degrees. Our mornings were running negative two or negative three, and we had lots of weather coming in during the mix. Snow, ice, all those sorts of things. Naturally, we're a bit limited on where we can go and what is safe for a couple of older gentlemen to hunt in. So we do lots of traveling, looking over lots of big country, and the deer just weren't moving. So we identified really early on that when this breaks, the hunting will be better. But in the meantime, if we get an opportunity at a good buck, we need to jump on it and make it happen. Mid morning on the first day, we're traveling from one ranch to the next and we see a beautiful buck right up on the ridge. We get settled in, get in position, and my dad takes the first shot of the trip and center punches a limb right in front of this deer's vitals. Andrew and I hiked up there to make sure there was no injury and with no contact we headed back to the truck and kept on hunting. Our weather continued to worsen so we hunted through the evening, found ourselves back at the house, we had a great meal, a good night's sleep and we're ready to hit it hard tomorrow. Hello bud. Uncle bud. <laughs> Driving in winter wonderland. <laughs> On day two, our weather wasn't supposed to break until really late in the afternoon. We knew we were going to have lots of snow, real cold weather. So Rocky took us up into the breaks, showed us some amazing country and some really cool stuff. And we just absorbed this insane environment. When you get your head around these animals that live in this stuff and how soft we are as humans, to me, it's just absolutely amazing. What did you decide? I decided that there's no deer anywhere around. <laughs> it's cold and snowy. <laughs> Mule deer hunt, Montana? Man, oh man. <laughs> Coldest weather I've ever been in. It's cold, it's man. Nuts. Fireball's trying to break through. It's snowing. It's snowing. Yeah, if that pops, that'll be good. You're crazy. There's no fireball looking. <laughs> Get above the single digits today, I'll be tickled. <laughs> yeah, me too. 
mid-morning, Rocky pulled us into this old cabin, sort of a historical landmark right there in the breaks. It was super cool to see all the history inside the cabin, the fact that they're still using it. It had lots of names on the wall where people had signed and visited, whether it was an emergency or a hunt camp. And that stuff to me just really is the icing on the cake on a hunt. You get to see all these very cool places that you would never see otherwise if you weren't here hunting deer in the breaks. It's a pretty cool place in the summertime, huh? That evening, we got a little break in the weather and it was like somebody flipped a switch and there was deer everywhere. We saw a couple of really good bucks that just needed a few more years, so we passed them knowing we had better weather coming tomorrow. Boy, are you boys dressing each other now? <laughs> Is that what's going on? <laughs> Is this what happens in deer camp? We just dress one another? <laughs> oh, tuck in the strings. <laughs> on day three, Ben was our guide and he drove us into a new area of the breaks and we just knew something special was gonna happen today. The weather had held up and got cold and still. We saw a bunch of young rams. We saw a really nice ram running across the ridge. There was a great buck down off in this draw and it just felt like today was gonna to be the day. Traveling around, Ben saw a little batch of deer way off in this canyon. We gathered up our stuff and headed that direction and about halfway there, off to our left, was another deer traveling, looking for love. We about faced, got in position, and the rest is in the history books. So from the top of that ridge to where the old man and bud are standing, that deer got shot and then went off into there. Hell yeah. Montana, 22. Browns down. Tagged out. <laughs> Sweet buck. Dead crawled in, one and done. Old Ben got us in perfect position. Thank you, sir. Uncle Bud put it all together like he always does. <laughs> and we're hanging out with dead stuff. Hell yeah. How old are you? 71. Why are you breathing heavy? We're just going up a mountain. <laughs> He's excited. <laughs> He's excited? <laughs> yep. <coughs> unbelievable country, isn't it? It's unbelievable. It's gorgeous. A little slippy and slidey, you have to admit. Beautiful day, though. We broke down that deer, put it in the packs, hiked all the way back up to the truck, Got the heater put on, got everybody warmed up, and we're off for the evening hunt. Hello, love. Hello. <laughs> Welcome to Montana. Montana. 
gold sunker. <laughs> Evening hunt, Uncle Bud. Yes. Day three. Hunting box? I am. <laughs> Let me see that big mule deer. You gonna shoot that before we get all the way over there? Yes. Okay. With the old man all tagged out and a full evening hunt in front of us, we head off to a new piece of property that has both mule deer and whitetail. On this Montana tag, the hunter has the option for either one. So Bud was like, hey, let's just see what's there. Almost instantly when we pulled in the property, we saw a great mule deer buck rutting some does on the top of this ridge and they just didn't give us an opportunity for a good shot. So we kept hunting around, taking a little inventory and seeing some very new to us, beautiful country. Wake up, baby bird. Wake up. Hello, bud. Good morning. <laughs> Last day in Montana? Yeah, yeah. Deer winning so far. <laughs> Who's gonna win in the end? Well, uh, I think I am. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you already won your battle. Morning. Yep. Morning. All right. Well, it's cold and beautiful. Yep. Four degrees of the shit. Stars are showing. And the moon. And the moon. Is that a full moon, bud? Nope. On our last morning here in Montana, you could just feel that things had changed for the better. On the way to the ranch, we saw deer rutting off the side of the road. The second we pulled through the main gate, there was a great big wide white tail rutting a doe. And we just kept easing our way back in about the time we got to the area where we saw the real nice mule deer buck the day before, there was a new mule deer chasing some does. Bud got out of the truck, followed him up the ridge, and did what Bud does. He put the hammer down on this beautiful mule deer buck. <laughs> All finished. Last day again. <laughs> My M.O. <laughs> Came in to get a whitetail up in this valley and saw a nice buck this morning. Couldn't, uh, got him out in the open, couldn't get on him. Got up the cage, looked up the wash, let him have it. Anyway, beautiful. One more time, my friend. One more time, buddy. Love you. A lot of years. Love you too. Hey, Uncle Dick. A nice, chilly, beautiful Montana. Just get a nice mule there with your knife. Still works like the day you gave it to me. Love you. And just like that, the hunt is over. Let's be real honest. The hunt, or the chase of the animal, is just the excuse we all need to fellowship in the outdoors. These boys have been chasing critters together for some 40 years, and they're not ready to be done. It's not the size of the buck or the meat in the freezer. It's about moving your feet now that there's a little more light than tunnel. If you would please remove your hat, I'd like to close in prayer. Lord, thank you for family. Thank you for cold weather, big canyons, and warm trucks. Thank you for giving us the desire to hunt and fish. This natural desire to chase food drives us to get out of bed and continue to move our feet on those cold, cold mornings. As my grandfather said, it's better to wear out than to rust out. Lord, thank you for safe travels, family, good friends, and a platform to share and encourage with others. And it's in your name we pray, amen.